Hey everyone, this is Imi Chicken from Team Pandori. Back in the 80s and 90s, everyone around me had either a Sega or a Nintendo. They had the best platformers. I, however, had an Amiga. Nothing came close until the Sonic Killer arrived. Zool. Just before the release of Sonic the Hedgehog 2, this game arrived with critical acclaim. 95, 96, 97%. This little ant dominated game expos and the TV show Bad Influence. At first, my friends loved this game, but then it was quickly forgotten as soon as Sonic 2 hit the market. Or perhaps they didn't turn the music on. With no music, this game feels like an empty shell. With it, however, it rocked my socks off, much like Violet Berlin. Almost 30 years later, Zool Redimension has arrived. Developed by newcomers, Sumo Digital Academy, an apprenticeship program based in Sheffield, UK, their first game attempts to put Zool back on the map. Zool Redimensioned is difficult to say, so I'm just going to call it The Game from now on. The game is released on Steam for PC at a budget price of 1,010 yen. Let's get to it. In the display settings, there are only three options, full screen, V-Sync, or screen filter. There's no resolution option, so it matches your Windows display. Screen filter makes it look like a TV. We can change the volume here, controls, or even go to the cheat menu. There's also an encyclopedia of all the characters. Here you can play the Mega Drive version of Zool. A nice bonus. Top option will give you double jump, bottom for classic controls. Back in the day, Zool was quite a difficult game. It's nice to see these extra options. The game is very similar to Sonic the Hedgehog and Mega Man. Navigate the level until you find the exit. Simple. You can jump, shoot, slide, spin your sword, and you can even climb up walls. Comparing this to the original release, controls feel much tighter. This is the most ninja Zool has been in years. Except for maybe that one time. There are seven different worlds, Four stages each, which have their own style and enemies. As the original art was created in early 90s, a major influence could be Andy Warhol or Acid. The graphics do look good, not like a cheap remake, but more like how Sonic Mania does it. And the CRT filter, aesthetic. Music, timeless. It would have been nice to hear a remaster or even a reimagining of the songs. It is a very short game. You could complete the whole thing in about one hour. As a budget game, I think it hit the sweet spot for the price. I'd like to see a two player variation of this. Maybe they could add it in the future, who knows. All in all, I was rather surprised to see this now ancient Amiga game brought back to life. Sumo Digital Academy did a great job, keeping as close as they could to the source material creating a very solid remaster. They took a very average game that only Adrian of Arcade Attack liked and made it accessible to the masses. This is the definitive version of Zool. We hope that Zool Sumo Digital, Digital Academy, Academy can recreate some more beloved titles in the near future. Lotus Trilogy, perhaps? Nudge, 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 winks, hearts. Loves. Monkeys. What do you want? Ah, this has been Emi Chicken of Team Pandory, and I'll catch you on the next one. Ta-ra.